can make money, but you can also lose money. But you can't lose your wealth. You can only forget that you have it. You can't lose what's meant to be yours. It just comes back to you in a different form. And your wealth is like your dream. If you have a dream, someone can kill your chances of getting a job, they can kill your chances of getting a bank loan, but no one can kill your dream. You own it. It's yours. No one can take what's yours. No one can take your wealth. So last week, Dora shared that she lost her home in her divorce. This was a while ago. And she thought that she'd never have a chance to own a home again. But then a few years later, she ended up buying a condo. And Dora said, you know, all that money I made easily, I lost easily. I couldn't hold on to the money. Just like I couldn't hold on to my marriage. But the wealth that I built was mine forever. It never really left me. Even when I was broke and I felt like a failure, I was still building my wealth. So it's, it's just like Elon, uh, Elon Musk. <clears throat> You know, three of his space rockets exploded. And people were like, wow, you lost all your money. <laughs> he was like, mm, yeah, I lost my money. But I didn't lose my wealth, which is my ambition, my dream. I still want to launch a rocket, in a, a rocket into space. And plus, I still know how to build rockets. Now I know how to build a better one. And they're like, how? And he's like, well, not like that one. <laughs> Elon Musk is worth $162 billion, so apparently he did lose his money, but he didn't lose his wealth. And now let's go back to Dora. During Dora's divorce, God was saying to Dora, don't look at the money. It's not the money. It's the relationship. You're not equally yoked. You see the money. You don't see how unhappy you are. Let it go. And I will bring you your happiness back, but without the baggage. And when the house represented the amount of money she had to pay off this dude, she lost the house. But when the house represented her wealth, her love and faith in partnership, her trust, her dream of having a secure place to live, yes, she lost the home, but it came back to her in the form of a brand new spiffy three bedroom condo. And this time it didn't have baggage attached to it. So in summary, you can lose your money. You can't lose your, you can't lose your wealth. You can only forget that you have it. Just like you can't lose your dream you can only forget that you have a dream. The Bible says the covenant that I have made with you, you shall not forget. You shall never forget the dream that God put inside of your soul. You shall not forget this covenant, this dream.